Have you ever thought about working with files and folders and automating actions using Excel VBA? Hi, this is Randy with Excel for freelancers. And in this quick VBA basic training, we're gonna do just that. I'm gonna write every single step out for you. And I'm gonna show you two different methods on how to work with files and folders within Excel VBA. So we can create files, create folders, check if they exist, delete, and so on and so forth. So let's get started. The first method that I'm gonna go over with you is called the FSO or file system objects. In this method, we're gonna work with specific objects. We're gonna create an object as the file system, and then we're gonna be able to create folders and create files and so on and so forth. The next method I'm gonna show you is the built-in VBA method. When we don't need to declare any objects, we can simply use commands to do the work for us. So we're gonna be going over every step and I'm gonna be writing the macros with you. So if you've never written any macros or you've never written any code at all, no problem. I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through the entire process and it's gonna be simple. When this training gets done, you're gonna know two different methods on how to work with files and folders using Excel VBA. If you do like these trainings, I just ask a few things. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification icon bell and make sure that you do get notifications on so that you can get these trainings. I create these basic VBA trainings each and every weekend. And on Tuesday, we create comprehensive Excel applications, such as accounting, scheduling, employee management, projects, and a whole lot more. So make sure you subscribe and check out both types of trainings. All right, if you also want to support this channel, I've got 350 of my best Excel templates available for you now, and I'll include the link down below. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is get into the VBA editor. And to do that, we're gonna go into the developers tab here. If you don't have the developers tab available, that's no problem. You can right click on any menu and click on the customized ribbon. Once you see the module pop up, all we need to do is make sure that the developer here is selected. So we're gonna select that. Once you're in there, you wanna go into the Visual Basic. You can also use a keyboard short called Alt F11. So Alt F11 will also get you into the VBA editor. It's gonna launch something that looks a little bit like this. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna write some code. And to do that, we're gonna create two unique modules because we have two different methods on working with files and folder in Excel VBA. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a module. In fact, we're gonna create two of them. So we're gonna click insert and then module. We wanna give it a name. It's very important as opposed to just leaving it as module one or module two, we wanna give it a specific name. So what we'll do is we're gonna go into the properties or use F4 as a shortcut. That's gonna launch this properties. It might be somewhere else on your system, but wherever it is, we'll go into the properties. It might also be floating here. And we just wanna rename that. And we're gonna call this FSO, known for file system objects method, and then macros. So that's good. We're going to put some macros in here. We might as well do the next one. So we're going to insert another module and then we're going to call this something a little bit different. So we're going to call this built in and then method. So we're giving each one a name. And the reason we're doing this is so that when we look at those modules, we know exactly what we have. So we'll call this built in macros and then we'll name it here method so that we can see that there's two different methods. So once we have that, what I wanna do is I would like to go into our FSO and start to write some macros. Now the FSO, otherwise known as file system object, we want to make sure that we're going to mention a variable. Now, because we're gonna be working with this throughout our macros, whether we're creating files or we're checking files or deleting folders or whatever we're doing, we're gonna use a variable for that. And we're gonna call that FSO for file system objects. So we're gonna mention the FSO and it is an object. So we're gonna call it as object. And we're doing this not inside any macro because I'm going to use this particular variable within each and every macro that we're going to be writing. So the first one we wanna do is let's create a folder. So we're gonna write a subroutine to do that, sub. And then we're gonna call this FSO underscore. And then we will say create folder. So that's the first one I wanna do. And I've got a folder here on my desktop, but what I wanna do is I wanna create a folder. So I'm just gonna copy this portion here to make things a little bit. I wanna create a brand new folder on my desktop. I've copied it ever. So to do that, all we need to do is for each macro, we need to set what is the FSO. All we know now is that it's an object, but what type of object? So for each one, we are going to have to use set F. SO file system object and it's going to be equal to we need to create that object so we're going to create the object 
and then we're gonna call it a scripting. So it's a scripting type object. So we'll use scripting. And then what we wanna do is we wanna know what type is called file system object and quotations and parentheses. Now that we've defined exactly what the file system object is, we can now work with it. So in this case, we're gonna do FSO and then we'll do dot and we wanna create a folder, create folder. So inside that, we need to then do the quotation marks. What folder? Now we're gonna call this, if we take a look inside, we have a new folder, so we'll call it folder two. So we're gonna create that folder called folder two. So now we're gonna drop this down a little bit so we can see both. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this or we're gonna use F5. When I do that, what it's gonna do is gonna automatically create that folder to right here you see on my desktop. So it's as simple as that to create a folder. Now what if I wanna delete a folder? It's pretty much just as simple. So I'm gonna simply gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it down here. Instead of create folder, I'm gonna call it delete folder. And as you can imagine, we do need to set the FSO each time. So I'm just gonna simply change create for the word delete. And what that's gonna do is gonna delete folder two. So I'm simply gonna run that macro, or press F5, and we see now that folder two has been deleted. Very good. Now what about if I wanna copy a file? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna run this macro one more time. And what this is gonna do is gonna create that folder two once again. What I wanna do now is I wanna copy a file. So I'm gonna just do something like copy this here, paste it down here. This one, we're gonna say copy file. So I'll rename this to copy file. Once again, we need to set for each time. And this time, FSO, we're gonna change delete. We are going to say copy file. And for the copy file, what we need first is our destination. So we need to know what file to copy. So here we have folder two. So let's take a look inside our new folder. So let's say I want to have our new folder because that exists. I want to use a backslash and I've got a file already in there. I want to take that file and I want to copy it to folder two. So what file is that? That's the blueprint four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this and copy it, go back to the desktop and I'm going to put it here. Now, where do I want it to copy to? I want to copy it to a new location. So all we need to do is use a comma and then put where we want to copy that file location to. So we're going to simply going to write a comma here. I'm gonna use quotation marks. I'm gonna paste in the name here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the location of where we wanna copy it to. So I'm gonna paste that right in here, use the backslash. And instead of new folder, we want that copied into folder two. So we put in folder two and make sure that we have the end quotation marks. Great, now when we run the macro for this, I'm gonna run it and we see that now our picture has been copied to the folder too. So we've copied the file essentially over. But what if we don't wanna copy it? What if we just want to move it? So let me go ahead and delete this picture inside here. And I simply want to now move the file from the new folder into folder two. So how would we do that? And that's gonna be called move file. So all I need to do is copy this down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna paste it. Of course, I'm just gonna call this move file okay we can bring this up a little bit and scroll this down and we'll bring it down here so we can see it so when we move a file once again we need to use the fso but we're not going to use copy file but now we're going to simply use move file and we need to move it here into our destination from our origination location so this is the original path and where we want to move it to so we're moving it to a very specific location and so let's take a look at this so we're simply going to run the macro and we see that initially it moves it to the folder too so it's moved from new folder into folder two just like that very good so what else do we want to do well i may want to delete a file so what if i want to delete this file let's go ahead and make a copy of it because we're going to be using it a little bit and i'll put this in the new folder now maybe i want to to delete it using a macro. So how would I do that? So again, once again, we're gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it down here. This time we're gonna call this delete file. I wanna delete a very specific file and we just need to change this to delete. And then we need to specify the path in which we are going to delete it. So maybe we want to delete that folder too. So we can just clear this out and we say exactly what we want to do. So we want to delete the blueprint for inside folder two. So all we need to do is run this macro and we see that folder two, the picture has now been deleted. Very good, deleting the file works quite nicely. Sometimes we want to check to see if a file exists. So how would we do that? Once again, I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna paste it down here. And I'm gonna put here FSO check file exists. 
Once again, we're going to define the FSO. And this time, what we want to do is I'm going to write an if then statement. So I'm going to check here if, and then FSO, we're going to change delete file to file exists. And now what we want to use, we can use parentheses here if we want to, and we want to check here. So then we can do a message box, message box file exists else message box file does not exist. Very good. So we either it exists or it does not exist using this. So what I'm going to do once again is I'm going to run this macro and we're going to check to see if file exists. So we run it. It says the file does not exist. If we look in folder two blueprint four, it does not exist. But now what if we change this to new folder, which we know it exists. So we're going to change this to new folder and we're going to run the macro and we see that the file exists. So it checks for a file in a folder and it lets us know whether it exists or not. We can also likewise check to see if a folder exists. So I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to paste it right down here. This time I'm checking simply for a folder. So all I need to do is just change this. And now what I'm going to do is simply going to erase the file and we're simply checking to see if a folder exists. So in this case, we'll change the text in the message box to either folder exists or folder does not exist. Very good. So we know that new folder exists. We see it up here. So all we need to do is run that and it's going to tell us, let's change the name of that check folder. We need to change that to folder exists. That's also important. We cannot have the same name as a macro. We're going to now run it and we see that the folder does exist. If I change the name to new folder one, which does not exist, we can see that we run the macro and the messages folder does not exist. Very good. So those are the macros that we're using for the FSO. Let's do something exactly the same, but we're going to use the built-in method, which is also my preference method because it's a little bit easier. So we're going to go here to a brand new module and we're going to write some macros, very, very similar macros to check to see whether files exist, folder exists, copying, and we're also going to be able to delete. So all the same functions using the built in method. So the first I want to do is I want to be able to create a folder. So let's delete this and we'll create something called new folder two. So how do we do that? So let's just copy this while we have it here. It makes it a little bit easier and we're going to go. So here, what I'm going to do is sub create folder. And this is pretty easy. It's a single line of code. We do not need to define any variables. We do not need to set any objects or anything like that. So make directory. And then we just need to put in the path. What is the path of that? And we're going to call this new folder two. And then we end the path. So when we run this macro, it's a single line of code here. Oops, let's fix that here. Not double quotes there. So it's single line of code here. We run it and we see that the new folder was created. Very good. So we can also delete a folder very very easy i'm going to copy this instead of create folder i'm going to call it delete folder and instead of make directory what we want to do is we want to use rm or otherwise remove remove directory so now we're going to simply remove the directory here and it's going to remove folder two great so now we see a single line of code almost all these are single line of code what if i want to copy a file let's go ahead and make that one directory one more time i'm going to run that macro now what i would like to do is i would like to copy a file from one directory to another so how do we do that so i'm going to use here sub copy file and to use that we are simply going to use file copy and then all we need to do is specify the source so in quotation marks space the source folder two and i'm going to use the new folder and then we're going to specify the file name so the file name is our blueprint let's double check that to make sure we have the right file name all we need to do is copy that here and then we go back here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste that in here and then also we need to say our destination so what is that destination i'm simply going to copy that path here and i'm then going to update the folder so for in this case it is called new folder 2 so we're just going to put the two in there. We can remove the parentheses. We don't need them on this one. All we're simply is copying one file into the next. So we're going to run that macro and we see now that the file has been copied to the new folder. Great. But what if I just want to simply move a file? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that in the destination and we're going to write another macro. I'm simply going to copy this here, paste it down here. And we're going to call this move file in this case we're going to use something called name as so we need to name our original file path 
as, so we're gonna use as our destination file path, and that's all we really need to do. Great, so it's called move file. So let's take a look at this. We are going to run this macro, and we see that here, first it's copied, and then the next one is removed. So we see that it's now removed. Very good, so we know how to move a file. What if I want to actually delete a file? So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy this one here, and I'm just gonna paste it inside the new folder, and the new folder is gonna be the one that I'm going to be removing. So I'm going to copy this here, and I'm just going to call this delete file. So delete file. And if I want to delete file, all we use is the word kill. So kill is the one that we need to delete. So all we need to use is the path name. So whichever one we want to remove. And let's take a look at that. So we're going to remove inside the new folder. All we need to do is run this. And we see that now the file has been removed. Very good. Just like with the FSO, I do want to check to see if a file exists or a folder exists. I can do that relatively easy. So we're gonna write sub check file exists. And to do that, I want to now use an if then statement. I'm gonna use the directory, if the directory, and what is the path? Oops, let's get that path in here. So I'm gonna write in this, the directory PNG, so we'll use that as a directory, does not equal empty, then we know message box file exists. Else message box file does not exist. Very good, so we're simply going to check to see inside the new folder if it exists. So in this case, it does not exist. So we're gonna run it and it says file does not exist. If we to change the folder name to folder two in which it does exist, we're going to get actual message that says the file does exist. So we're gonna put a two in there in which the file does exist. We're gonna run it one more time and we see now that the file exists. We can also check to see if a folder exists using the built-in method. And let's go ahead and do that here. Sub check folder exists. And we can pretty much do something very similar. So I'm gonna copy this here. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna change this to folder and I'm gonna change this to folder and we're gonna update. So in this case, we're gonna use the directory, but we're gonna also use VB directory. So we're gonna use VB directory, and we're not looking for a specific file, so we can leave. I wanna know if folder two exists, which it does. So this time, I'm simply going to, let's take a look at the folder so we can always see it, run it, and it's gonna tell us the folder does exist. However, new folder three does not exist, so when we do run this macro, we see that the folder does not exist. Very good, I am going to include this cheat sheet in the download files if you wanna get all these macros. I'll make sure to have that available inside the link below. I do appreciate your continued support. Please do not forget to comment below, like the video, and subscribe. I create these videos every single week just for you. Go ahead and check all the links down below if you wanna support the channel. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.